friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a mature white pre intumescent cataract i have taken up this case for surgery let us observe the surgical steps by this time the main incision has been made and now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is sprayed over the anterior surface of the cataractous lens and now the dye is washed out this is real time and this much time the dye was in contact with the anterior capsule and now 2% spmc is injected into the anterior chamber and now see what happens as i make a puncture onto the anterior capsule here it is no fluid comes out so this is not intumescent cataract there is no positive pressure but there is convexity of the anterior surface and here it is the capsule tends to go to periphery by smart pulls i could bring it on track and complete the ccc so if there is convexity of the anterior surface more convexity than it is usual it is always better to do twist is rexus in this case had i done twist is rexus the rexus would have been totally different and now the tip of the phaco hand piece is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now this is submarine chop the lens is pushed little down and the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator the chopper supports the anterior surface of the lens and as the tip reaches near the opposite equator the lens is chopped into two halves now each hemineucleus is further divided into two parts this is the other hemineucleus it is also divided into two parts we can see that the nucleus is quite hard nuclear sclerosis in this case is would great four or great four plus by this time one quadrant has been removed this is the second quadrant and now these two fragments are not free just tilt and apply little energy here and the pieces become free it is always better to start emulsifying the pieces from its apex tilt the fragment and start at the apex this is the last bit of the nucleus at this time i have removed the chopper so that the anterior chamber becomes more stable and now cortical clean up is to be done this is 2% spmc now a 23g simpula is being used to remove the cortical matter we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration but i find this instrument very safe and now 
this is a bit of cortex at 6 o'clock I take the irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation aspiration and do hydro polish hydro polish means using the irrigating fluid to polish the posterior capsule yes and now in this case we are going to implant Hoya intraocular lens from Japan this is a hydrophobic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens with a beautiful preloaded system here goes the lens the leading haptic is going to the capsule bag and now the trailing haptic let us see if it has gone into the capsular bag or not no just by a push of the sense key the tilling haptic has gone into the capsular bag yes now the lens is in the bag now visco that has been used before implanting the intraocular lens is thoroughly cleaned out by irrigating proba by manual IA and then both the irrigation and aspiration cannulas. You must go behind the IOL and clean the visco from the capsular bag. And now irrigation from the right side and aspiration from the left and the visco is thoroughly removed from the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration on either side of these stab wounds this is very essential steps the main wound that I create usually doesn't need hydration and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out that it's at this stage and then the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.